what's up guys welcome back to my channel so i came across this article and i thought it to be a little strange this is from insider i will leave the link to the article down below but that's where i am going to be reading from so apparently there was a passenger that has been on ocean gate um ocean gates um submersible and he asked the question well what would happen if they got lost since they were bolted inside and what the ceo said was quite bizarre let's check this out so it says here a passenger on ocean gate sub questioned what would happen if they got lost since they were bolted inside ceo stockton rush replied you're dead anyway yeah that's what he said stockton rush once made a bizarre quote-unquote comment about an emergency scenario a former passenger said brian weed asked asked what would happen if they got lost in the sub since they were bolted inside quote well you're dead anyway weed said rush replied during a 2021 test dive on the titan a documentary cameraman who went on a test dive in Ocean Gate's deep sea Titan submersible said the company CEO and creator of the vessel, Stockton Rush, made a bizarre comment when the passenger raised concerned about what would happen in an emergency. Brian Weed, a veteran camera operator, was working for the Discovery Channel's Expedition Unknown TV show in May 2021 when he and his colleague boarded the Titan sub in Washington's uh, Puget Sound. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, we told Insider Dive, we told Insider Dive was supposed to be a quote-unquote precursor to a dive on the sub later that summer to the famed shipwreck site of the Titanic in the depths of the North Atlantic where the TV crew had planned to film. Moments after Weed, the expedition unknown host, Josh Gates and Rush, were locked in the sub with no way out except from the outside, We'd asked Rush what would happen if the vessel had suddenly made an ascent in an emergency situation and was nowhere near its mothership. We told Insider that Rush said, well, there's four or five days of oxygen on board. And I said, what if they don't find you? And he said, well, you're dead anyway. The cameraman said he found Rush's response very strange. He said, I felt it felt very it felt like a very strange thing to think and it seems to almost be i don't know if i'm going to say this right nihilistic a nihilistic attitude towards life or death out in the middle of the ocean we'd said we'd added that rush's whole point was if you're out there and they don't find you in that many days you're just going to die anyway it's over for you so what does it matter if you can't get out of the sub on your own that's really bizarre. Like I, that's so om, ominous. Like <laughs> that is so dark. I don't know. I would find that to be a bit passive. Like, ah, you're dead anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like what? Excuse me? And you want me to go on this thing? It uh continues on to say here. Rush's apparent uh cavalier attitude towards what we considered basic safety made him feel uneasy from the start and was his first red flag from the dive experience he said see now that would have been a red flag for me like you're telling me that that's all that you can say to me based on my concern like you're bolted in this thing what happens and that's what he responded with we said the test drive was plagued with mechanical and communication issues and had to be aborted. Quote, that whole dive made me very uncomfortable with the idea of going down to the titanic depths in that submersible, we said, adding that it just didn't feel safe. We'd ultimately pulled out of the documentary project over safety concerns and the Expedition Unknown production was also later canceled. The Titan sub imploded last month on an expedition to the Titanic's wreckage, 12,500 feet below the ocean surface, killing Rush and all four others on board. Yeah, that's quite bizarre to respond that way when someone is on their way to, to make a documentary with them being in this submersible to go to see the Titanic and 
that's the response that you have, you know. Now, I don't know if this is some type of sea life humor <laughs> um, because this is just what he does, but I wouldn't have taken that lightly. I would have also been extremely uneasy. I would not have been okay with that response. I would have, you know, considered, obviously asked like, well, that's good and well, but what are your, like, what, what are your protocols? It, it was a simple, what, what, what are you dead anyway? What? Like, so the fact that you don't even have some type of procedure, if something like that were to happen, is a red flag to me. Like something like, there should be some type of, there should have been some type of uh, exit door, some type of exit strategy, considering that you are bolted inside. You are bolted inside. There should be some type of emergency latch where everyone puts on scuba, uh, at least enough oxygen. Uh, first of all, this thing is just too small. Like, I'm sorry. I, there's just so many wrong things about this to me, in my opinion. This thing is just way too small. You can't even carry certain things. In, that, that's how small it is. There's certain things that you can't carry inside. But this, if this is going to be a thing, I feel like it should be big enough to carry oxygen tanks to carry uh, some type of scuba gear. It doesn't even have to be suits. Just give them oxygen so they can swim up to the surface. There should be some type of emergency latch. Even though you are bolted in, it should be something that should only be used in case of an emergency. If you need to get out, pull the thing, let the door open, swim out. And you know what I mean? Like the fact that you are just making something like this and your only response to well what happens if you get if something ha you know if the emergency happens is well you're dead anyway that whole that whole statement is just wrong you know that whole scenario that whole conversation is just wrong you know like there should there should have been so much more to this i Hope and pray that if this is something that they are going to continue to do, if Ocean Gate is going to continue to make these submersibles and provide this type of adventure to people who are not shaken by the story, they seriously need to reinvent this entire submersible. It may not be a submarine, but there should be an exit strategy there should be enough room in this submersible to have, um, you know, granted the submersible itself has oxygen and 96 hours of oxygen, but in an emergency, there should still be emergency oxygen tanks, something that they can, you know, use to get out of there and swim to the surface, enough oxygen for them to swim to the surface. There should be some type of, I don't know. I mean, this is just me off the top of my head, just thinking of all the things that they could include in something like this. Um, you know, there should have been something, in my opinion, attached from the, the, the main deck, I guess, to the submersible. In my opinion, there should have been some, some type of wire, some type of something where if you know, in case of an emergency, they could easily be pulled up if they can ascend on their own. That's just my opinion. That should be a backup in case, you know, because it seems like them let letting these, I, I guess what these ballasts are, are like some type of sandbags or weights or some type of thing that they released so they can ascend, but they, it wasn't ascending fast enough. And in a situation like that, if the submersible was attached with some type of cable, you know, they should have went ahead and pulled them up in case something went wrong, especially if they lost communication with them. In a situation like that, there should absolutely be at least two or three backups in case of an emergency. Have an exit strategy, extra oxygen tanks, have the submersible um, have 
you know, some type of cable attached to the main deck up above. So in case something happens, they could be pulled up. This, and I'm no expert. This is just me thinking of, you know, survival things. You know what I mean? But yeah, for him to respond like that, it was just beyond bizarre in my opinion. That just made me uncomfortable just knowing that, that, that he said that. Um, yeah, so leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know, you know, if you enjoyed my take on it. I mean, give me your take. What, what do you think? Do you think that they should continue to keep going? Do you think that, you know, it should have been more? Do you think it, it you know, just give me your thoughts because this was wild. This was wild. And in any case, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!